Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm having some fresh coffee this morning. Good to be back home in Indiana. But what a time we had in Dallas. I mean, it was a Texas explosion. And people were, the crowds gathered, had a great crowd. We had just a little over 500 people on the morning session and a great afternoon session. People were saved, healed, and delivered, and inspired with the prophetic word of the Lord. Daryl Myatt brought a powerful word, and Sister Heidi did too. And I tried to do a little preaching while I was at it. And we had a great time, believe me. The people were wonderful. Traffic was crazy. Got a little bit insane, but wow, did it work out great. We baptized 10 or 11 people in Rockwall, Texas. What a beautiful city it is there. And we just want to thank uh, Kristen Erickson and her husband, Steve, for opening up their home and their swimming pool in their backyard. And we baptized 10 or 11 and had an old, uh, we had a backyard old style Texas barbecue and just had a wonderful time of fellowship in the Lord on Sunday. Well, what a great day Saturday was. I met so many great people. I, I hugged so many wonderful people. I probably took 300 pictures with folks. I mean, we just had a great time. And the Lord really, really moved. And I received uh, some words of knowledge. I'd like to go to the word of the Lord right now to bless you today. If you'll go with me to the book of Ecclesiastics, the words of the preacher written by King Solomon himself. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem, vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor which he hath, he taketh under the sun? One generation passes away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteth to his place where he arose. The wind goeth toward the south, and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually, and the wind returneth again according to his circuits. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Unto the place from which the rivers come, thither they return again. All things are full of labor. Man cannot utter it. The eyes is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ears filled with hearing. The thing which hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new. It hath been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. I, the preacher, was king over Israel and Jerusalem, and I gave my heart to seek and to search out my wisdom by wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. This sore travail hath God given to the sons of man to be exercised therewith. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of the spirit. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. I consumed with mine own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate, and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge, and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and to folly, and I perceive that this also is vexation of the spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. 
Well, you know, there's a scripture in the Old Testament, uh, in the Bible, that says, little known, little required. And of course, the more information you gather, it brings forth more revelation and will require a manifestation. I pray it's unto salvation, but it doesn't always work that way. And so a lot of times, the more you know, the more pain and anguish it brings. One thing that Solomon says here, the preacher says is, it's all vanity and vexation of the spirit. I mean, he, he look, king of Israel built the temple of the Lord, had 700 concubines and a thousand wives, made agreements with every major king around him and was at peace. He experienced everything. And at the end of the day, it's all vanity and vexation of the spirit. Unless what you're doing is with God, everything you do in the natural basically comes to naught. There's a scripture that this king also wrote in the book of Proverbs. The eyes of men are never satisfied. Hell and destruction are never full. So the eyes of man are never satisfied. Let's read that one more, say that one more time. Hell and destruction are never full. So the eyes of man are never satisfied. People continue to get involved in things that will destroy their souls. And that's the reason hell has to be enlarged and that without measure. And if you wonder why all the volcanoes and all the sinkholes and the craters and the things that are opening up in the birthing pains of this end time, it's because the eyes of man are never, never satisfied. Give your life to Jesus Christ. The only satisfaction, the only peace you'll ever have is in Jesus Christ. I'll be right back with some unbelievable current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. And don't miss today's live broadcast from my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.